From moss flower to moss isley, nerds are passionate about a lot of things, but there's one thing they love above all else, and that is correcting people. This is Um Actually. Joining us today, we have Zach Oyama. Good evening. Becca Scott. Hello. And Thomas Middlevich. Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. <laughs> and Thomas? Suck it! Seem a little <laughs> uh, um, aggressive? Yeah. Um, what are you gonna do about it? Dork. We were told um, to be aware of situations like this where we bring a jock into a dork environment. Well, the lion is in the cat den. <laughs> Are you feeling intimidated right now, Zach? Yeah, I mean, it's like filtering down like that. And you, Becca? I'm going to win. I don't accept losing as an answer. Sure. And Thomas? Don't give a fuck. So uh, here we are. If you haven't played before, the rules are pretty simple. I have a stack of statements here about what fan fan franchises, franchises that have uh, har, har Um, Actually, it's called a fandom. Ah, uh, god damn it. Fine. This is exactly why I hate you dorks. Popular fandoms, Becca. Uh, but there's something wrong with each of these statements. Uh, if you spot it, buzz in and correct me. Uh, your correction must be prefaced with the phrase, um, actually. Uh, and you can interrupt me at any time. Just like in real life, uh, it doesn't matter what like I'm Like right now? Yeah, exactly. The like point I'm trying to make, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you're better than everyone and you're here to prove it and prove that I'm a small, weak man who doesn't know what he's talking about. Got it. Agreed. Great. This first question is about X-Men. Ugh. <laughs> The X-Men are one of the most multinational superhero teams in comics, including Storm from Kenya, Colossus from the former Soviet Union, and Nightcrawler from Germany. Meanwhile, Professor X, Cyclops, Wolverine, and Jean Grey are all from the United States. Um, um actually? Yes, Becca, you buzz in first. Storm is not from Kenya. She's from Kenya. Okay. Um, actually, and I hate that I know this, because <laughs> I think all of it's dumb, Wolverine is from Canada. That's correct, Wolverine is from uh, Canada. Oh, Canada, he shoots, he scores, a <laughs> twine-seeking missile from the bottom to the top right at the blue line, buddy. Uh, That's sports. <laughs> uh, this question is about Cowboy Bebop. Set in 2071, former gangster Spike Spiegel and ex-cop Jet Black work together as bounty hunters aboard Jet's ship, the Bebop. They are later joined by several younger crew members, including Faye Valentine, a con artist, Ed, a hacker, and a genetically enhanced corgi known as Data Dog. Um, actually, the corgi's name is Ein. It is Ein, but uh, it is also known as Data Dog. Um, actually, <laughs> Faye Valentine is older than them. That's correct. Faye Valentine uh, is 77 years old. He was cryogenically frozen, and so is technically older. It's a fun anime with a bunch of jazz. <laughs> anime? You gotta have that jazz. <laughs> anime oh, and jazz. Fun. Finally combining the two things people are clamoring the most for. <laughs> the perfect blend. Still an electro synth pop opening. I guess I don't know enough about music to debate that. That's a good point. Neither do I. Neo electro sub synth. I think that's the official uh, music subgenre. All right, our next question is about the Princess Bride. Inigo Montoya's father was famously killed by the villainous Prince Humperdinck when Inigo was just a boy. Um, actually, he was killed by the six-fingered man, not the prince. That's correct. But they're one and the same. What? No, Count Rugen is the six-fingered man. Prince Humperdinck is a different uh, character altogether. Fucking killing it right now. <laughs> well, Robin Wright had to marry Prince Humperdinck, mm. who had six fingers. No. no. It was his, it was his <laughs> Zach even raised the finger, I think, oh. unintentionally. This show was made for you, Zach. The, the six-fingered man is Christopher Guest, right? I don't remember who plays it. According to my calculations, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> this question is about Pokemon. In the extended Pokemon universe, Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy appear to exist and work in every town, though it is acknowledged that neither is a single entity, but rather multiple identical clones. Zach. I'm actually their sisters. That's close enough. They're I'm actually their mother and daughter. They're all a giant family. They're all like identical, related, uh, working in the exact same job. They just happen to look that much alike? They just happen to look that much alike. They're just all family members. I mean, I would say that clones are family. I mean, family goes so much more beyond just like bio biology, you know? Mm. If you've seen the Fast and the Furious movies, yeah. family is about um, ride or Cars. die. Yeah, family. About, I mean, if you've seen the la the latest one, Vin Diesel literally says it 110 times. <laughs> <laughs> this brings us to our first shiny question. Shiny questions like shiny Pokemon are worth the same amount. They're basically the same. They're just a little bit different. Uh, this is a little game called Super Saiyan. 
Fantastical world means fantastical phrases. Here on the screen, I want you to match the common expressions to the character associated with that expression. So, um, this uh, is surprisingly heavy. Right? Yes, yeah. we, we wanted to make it as big and heavy and difficult for you to manage as possible. Um, so the first person to correctly arrange all these sayings onto the correct character and buzz in will get the point. I like it, Oops. like. Uh, yeah, the gloves seem like they're uh, gonna make this like way more difficult than it should be. And yeah, okay. Oh, oh, Becca, already done. Sure. All right, uh, show us what you got here. <sighs> okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm looking at this. This is not correct. So someone else well, can still buzz in with a with I a correct know. answer. Buzz, I, buzz, I, I buzz, buzz, well. buzz, buzz, motherfucker! Oh, this <laughs> shit's all—it's slipping and sliding. It's almost like those gloves. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are important sports equipment. You're not allowed to take those off. Oh, right? I see. It's if you just safety. sort of put it on. All right, we're looking at Thomas's here. Is it? Um, that is. Correct. Uh, Suck my dick. You know, you can break these down linguistically. You know, you don't actually have to know the answers. Well, unless you know these ones. You gotta know GOT, man. Sure. HBO, home box office, the home of the best television. I think you're promoting your, the brands that you're affiliated with. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, we can do that. And we're not allowed to plug? No, no, we can plug, we can plug. Uh, we got A-Z-S-H, right? That's like demon speak, that's mm. the kind of the demon. Klingon's got apostrophes and whatnot. You know, you can just, you know, break it down. This is George Lucas, via bada bada poo poo. I mean, of course it says poo doo. <laughs> it's just like, you can tell sophistication in nonsense language. I don't actually know this. Is this Soul Calibur? So that is, um, that's from Starcraft. Oh, is he a Zergan? He's a Protoss. He's a Protoss. No, doy. <laughs> I can't wait for the internet to be alive with that one. Man, it takes one thing and just like you can hear a million blood vessels bursting across the country. How could you think that's a Zerg? <laughs> How could you think that's a Zerg? Uh, it's exactly why I've turned jock. That's it for this preview of Um Actually. If you enjoyed it, I have good news. There's a lot more of it over on Dropout. Go to dropout.tv and start your free trial today. And fun fact, I'm not wearing any pants right now. Sorry, oh, um, actually, <laughs> you bringing Kirk into this? Um, <laughs>